Hello, everyone. I am Mr. Skull. Here to bring you some Halloween treats, if you will. <laughs> yeah, I can't do this with a mask on. You just can't barely hear me, and I can barely see what I'm doing. You know, well, leave your gloves on. They're cool. <sighs> Tell you what, these cap wigs are a nightmare. But, I wasn't lying about what I'm going to be showing you today. Well, I'll take a little look at They're kind of funky. Kind of weird. That and they don't fit my big beastly hands as well. Uh, yeah, it's that time of year again. Time for everybody to dress up as their favorite thing. Favorite characters. The haunted houses. Scared. <clears throat> I know that's what I like. About. But, without further ado, you didn't come to hear me just talk about home. You came to hear to see some stuff. In this toad over here next to me, I have some various uh, Halloween items so that you can get at your local you know grocery store or like Party City or Spirit you know places like that uh, mind you it's not too extravagant but hey that's pretty cool one of the first pieces I would like to show this the Dorker. I got this at Kroger. I don't remember how much I paid for. Oh, six bucks. So, not bad. They had different variations, but they only had this one. When I went back next time, they had one that said Asylum and it was like, had clawed blood prints. And I was like, man, I wanted that one instead, but they didn't have so. Got this one instead. I uh, haven't really took it out of the box to decorate yet, but, you know, stuff happens. Now, next item, everyone should know these, strobe light. Great for parties, great for haunted houses, <clears throat> as you can see this one has a little thing up here on top, it's where you can hang it up if you want, and just you know do that. And you can have it up on the ground, however you want. This is one of those ones though that makes sounds. And it's got a little knob here, so you can adjust the speed of the light if you want it to really stay still, or if you want it to move real quick. You know how I'll strip the lights. I don't need time for that. Alright. As you can see, it has a nice little switch right here that states demo for like when it's in the store and you know whatnot, so you can test and see if you like it. Light. see that really well might be too fast but it's you know I'm not going to show it on the camera because one people who watch this might might have epilepsy and yeah I don't want to get in trouble for someone having that one. but then you have the real nice feature of this
four cycling fluids, and then blue. Uh, so that one's just a normal shock. That's good for a human being to But moving on. have it on that and then you flick it off it'll still go until it's finished. So got that. What else we got here? My little bag of tricks. Ah. Another little thing I picked up at uh Kroger for about uh, four bucks. Pretty cheap. It is little decals. They can stick on your wall, you can stick on your door, you know, wherever you want to give you that nice effect. Again, they had different versions of this one. Uh, this is the one I wanted because I'm a gore hound. I love blood for some reason. Uh, and has the word, it has the enter if you dare. I mean, you know, and, and it's reusable. Peel, stick, reposition, enjoy. Self-adhesive decor for walls, mirrors, and more. I'm sad about that one. It's pretty nice. Moving on. What else we got? Alright, this little ditty I picked up at the dollar store. Like, literally, the dollar tree. And it's a paper lantern. That's what it looks like when it's undone. Uh, yeah, not, not too much to say about this one. I mean, it lights up, but I mean, it's good for like parties, but I wouldn't like want to use it on a haunted house because that kind of be like a little pokey looking. Like, but, you know. but still, it's a little nice little Halloween item for, you know you know, Halloween events like birthdays, parties, you know, just general stuff like that. Alright, moving on. With another little piece I picked up at Dollar Tree. Yeah, I know, plastic. You'd think that changed, but no, it's just it's supposed to be aesthetically like that, I guess, so... It's got the typical hook where you can actually, you know, see that, where you can actually hang the nail, it's like, hang it up. Again, I mean, yeah, it could be used for haunted houses, you know, stuff like that, or just typical decorations. Again, I got that a dollar for you, like a dollar. Looks like a dollar, man, you can't beat that. This is one of my favorite things. I got this at uh, Dollar General. Creepy Claw. Everybody loves Creepy Claw when I count the decorating problem. It gives you that old feel. You know, I mean, as you can tell, it's, it doesn't look really old and feely in that picture, you know. But I'm pretty sure it's coming up in like a haunted house or you decorated it the right way. It would actually look pretty creepy. Now, like I said, most of these things you can get at the Dollar Tree, Dollar Store, you know, unless you want to get like, you know, a lot more aesthetically pleasing stuff, like, you know, stuff they have at Spirit. Uh, Party City is has some. Some, and I mean that some decoration stuff, but most of their stuff is purely like costumes and whatnot. I mean, but it's still good to take a look there and see, find little knickknacks to add that little touch. There's something for your nice door decoration, it makes your door look like it's old and does not need to be entered. 
Again, most of the stuff I have not taken out of the pack. Yes, it's still not good. But again, got this at Dollar General. And yeah, not much to say about it. It's just your typical, you know, the typical do not enter. Yeah, I know. Kind of, kind of makes a play for words if you use that one other thing. It says enter if you dare, and it says do not enter. It's like, well, what do I do? <laughs> you know. But yeah, that's pretty. Okay, this is another little ditty. I know it's kind of looking, kind of hokey looking, but it it aesthetically pleased me. You know, for what I would do with it. Now, this is not a mask. It's not something you want. This is something you would put on your wall. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, yeah. Might help if uh, I took out the little... Okay. Now, imagine seeing something like that. In dark. I mean, look at it. Yeah, it looks hokey. But, oh, sound activated? Or the motion? Bah! Sound activated. But imagine seeing that on the wall in, in a haunted house or just, you know. You'd find it creepy. Seriously, you'd find it creepy. Now. And uh, everyone, and myself personally, you know, stores now nowadays, you know, put out Christmas stuff along with, you know, Halloween stuff. You know, I, I kind of don't like that, but you know, whatever. But in this, in the realm of lighting, Halloween came out with its own set of Christmas twinkle lights. Halloween purple lights. They also come in orange, and you, got, you can find different ones like the candy corn looking, and you know. These I got purple because they had that eerie aesthetic. You know? And it's a 70s strand. And the beauty part about this is in the, in the directions inside here, it says if one or more bulbs burn out, others will stay lit. Now, how awesome is that? Most Christmas lights you get, one goes out, you have to get a whole new strand. I paid about maybe... I don't remember. It's been a while. Because this was like when Halloween stuff first started coming out. Dollar Two, not Dollar Tree. Dollar General was the first place I seen had stuff, so I got it there. Alright, moving on here. We're gonna start breezing through some of this. Because I'm running low on time. Now these Yeah, they you wouldn't really find them in a haunted house because for the simple fact, well I only got this one because I like cats. And well, it's just Yeah. Then you have this. I didn't like the fact, you know, I mean, I like what it says, but it, uh, you can't I don't know if you see it, but it's glittery. It's like, it's supposed to be scary, not, you know, all flashy. Yeah, but that's pretty cool. You know, this was a zombie apocalypse infected area. You know. Out of haunted houses, you know, I wouldn't recommend using these for haunted houses because honestly, you know, the I mean, although you, you might be able to get it work for your life. Uh, I have another one that says, caution, dead ahead. But, caution, dead ahead. So, more 
Aesthetics. Put up. This, you know, of course, you get your rubber bats. You can find these all any dollar store, dollar tree, dollar map, dollar. Uh, heck, even Party City, I know that's so, um, uh, even Spirit. Hang it up. For a haunted house. This, though, personally, I got off a buddy of mine. So, <laughs> alright, moving on, this, not much to say, not really a good thing for a hop for a haunted house, it's, you know, decorations, you know, you know, silly jack lantern, but it's one of those, one kind of thing where you put candy or cookies or, you know, whatever you want. It's a, uh, you know, Halloween tent. It's only like a dollar. You can get it at most, like I said, most family dollar, dollar general, stuff like that. <sighs> ah, we're getting down to the cream of the crop here. Well, this, again, I picked up at the Dollar Tree. It's kind of silly and hokey, but it says zombie. See right there. Zombie Crossing. Again, you know, I have a little weird thing with the undead. I like it. I like it. Again, this is mostly for like party. That's the parties. You know, Garland. You know, Garland's not just for Christmas anymore. Halloween's got Garland. <laughs> but, you know, yeah. I mean, good for, for good for Halloween decoration. You know, just decorate. These also picked up at Dollar General. Some of them had chains, just their chains. These had actual shackles. And what's interesting about it enough, you could actually use them as a costume prop too, because they will actually fit on your hand. You can actually. Well, I got to do it the other day. But, you can actually pop that part off a little bit and stick it, unless you are small handed, which I'm not huge handed, so it's like. <laughs> but yeah. Good for haunted houses or Halloween decorations. Alright. Now, I'm going to pull out one of these because I have four of them. But, and no, I don't drink. I get things like this, you know, and just to be you know, silly, you know. Or even just for Halloween decorations or to even use in skit videos, you know. It's just little, you know, maybe like act like it's vodka and just be water, you know, or like that. But I mainly just got these, you know, for, you know, aesthetically pleasing purposes. Because, as I said in the beginning of the intro, Mr. Skulls, I have an affinity for skulls as you see that as you see that mask. And here's another one I got from the Dollar General. Let's see, it's like a Hannibal Lecter of skull masks. So yeah, I mean, that as a prop, you can use it as you know actual. Face mask is intended. Something like that. There's one of my favorites. You can use this again as a prop or part of the decoration. Or you could use this as part of costume. I picked this little baby up in Party City. Like looks aesthetically, you know, like machete wood. But it's also, you know, actually, but, yeah. and it's basically hollow hard plastic. Like I said, good for props, good for costumes. You know, if you want to be 
Jason or if you want to do Raving Psychopath, you know, which I like doing, which is part of this. Yeah, I know. Shut up. It's hard to manage, I'll tell you that much right now. Uh, you can get these, like I said, at Party City. The real good ones, uh, Party City, Spirit, stuff like that. Uh, you'll probably be seeing more of this in later videos. Get it work right. right now, I don't think it works right I need to kind of shake my head. But yeah, there's that. Uh, this was like a think on sale. It's like leftover stock they had last year. Oh, As you see me putting away, you know, I had, you know, gloves and uh, wig cap. Alright. This is just, you know, a little hokey something, you know. You can still use for, you know, uh, haunted houses and Halloween decorating. You know, maybe just hang it up and act like it's, you know, part of it. But it's a glowing butcher knife. Yeah, I know, most, just mostly little kids get these for their costume. You know, hokey looking glowing butcher knife. Not much to say about it, you know, like I said, it was only a buck. Close the dark. Still pretty. Alright. Here we got 20 feet of bright. And here's for like. Uh, this stuff. This is colorless powder. It's white. Like, you want to look like you get some like. Pale ghost or you know, what, whatever you want to do with it. And of course, you can get these. I got, like I said, I got both these at Party City. This helps, you know, to apply. I need to actually put these in my uh, makeup kit. You know, which you know, I have it down here, but it's kind of buried at the moment under paperwork. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Oh. Not the last two items in the first pain. Then we have the piece that is not the one I like the best. Alright, well, you got this. It's a spider. It's a flashing black spider. Ooh, creepy. Take out the little tab. Uh, where was the turn off button for this thing? Ah, it's in its butt, see? Spider's in its butt. Yeah, not real, like, haunted house material, but, you know, it's still kind of pretty cool, you know, because it, you can get a little, 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 ah, out of somebody with it. And it's got suction cups so it can stick on mirrors or, you know, anything with glass. And here, you know, this is a staple for any costume or, you know, decorate, though I find you creating your own fake blood is the best way to go, this is, you know, vampire blood, so if you want to go to Dracula, you know, so you like it there, bleh, 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 uh, but, and it's washable, it's water washable, so it comes right out with water, and it's got, Directions right here: how to use it, how not to use it. Yeah, you can use it to decorate. Like if you have like like that machete, if, if you get like a lot of clean or something, or even if you want to get a, you know, some people like to use the old cutlery. So yeah, and let's get down to the final. Uh, right now, it, the batteries are, I believe, there's no batteries in it. <sighs> yeah, um, but, I 
I don't know where they are at this moment, but this is actual attack class. The lantern. Hang up. I got this at Kroger. They had like a bunch of different ones. They had one that's like a haunted house. They did like small skulls. What's neat about this is it comes with a little remote. And typically, you know, it's got a little on off switch at the bottom. I would have been able to show you, but the little try me thing, I guess, broke up here. So, yeah, couldn't try it. But, you know, it's that. The interesting thing about the control, though, is you do variants of colors. See, there's always colors. You can get your red, you get green, blue. I think that's brown, orange, green, purple, yellow, white, blue, you know, all of them. And white. Or you can just hit multicolored and it'll just shift through colors. Uh, you can put it on a timer for like, you know, four hours or eight hours, you know. Like, say, like, yeah, if you use it like a house, you're like, okay, we're gonna run this, we're gonna run, we're gonna, the, the haunt's gonna run for four hours. Okay, put it on timer. Four hours, you don't have to worry about it. Turn it off, nothing. And what's what kind of stinks about these, let's see if I can get it. is it takes those huge like thick small disc batteries which i don't know if there's one in here or not if not well that's going to you know oh it's so like oh yeah okay yeah it's good it's got a battery in it sweet those things cost are expensive like just one of those just to buy it separate like for one is usually like runs you like 14 50 bucks it's like stupidly expensive and i don't know what the mode is for but then you also have the on off switch up here so if you don't want to fiddle with the bottom switch you just hit the switch eat the switch well other than my trusty skull mug here. I had one of these, but I can't fi find it. It was like chalice, but it was it looked like kind of like how that face, but it was a chalice. I don't know where it went off to. The but that's all I have. So I just want to say a little something. Be safe out there this Halloween. Considering how the, how the world is now, just be careful. Always remember, kids, to have your parents check your candy. Just to be on the safe side. There are some weirdos out there anymore. I mean, the bad kind of weirdos, not you know the you know, the crazy, cool, funny weirdos. You know, like, like I know. Uh. But basically, that's, you know, just have a safe, fun Halloween, you know. Get a lot of candy. Go to Halloween parties. Go to haunted houses. Have fun. Enjoy the holiday. Well, that's about all the time I have. This is Mr. Skull saying, stay wicked. Like and subscribe for more content in the future. That's what you'd like to see more of. And we'll try to see what we can do. Cool. Alright, again. This is Mr. Skulls saying, stay wicked.